You're watching Cox Connections, only on Cox 11. The power of the sea is on display in Norfolk at Nauticus, and it's just the place to take your family and friends this summer. Nauticus is an exciting interactive science and technology center that explores the naval, economic, and nautical power of the sea. You can see 3D movies, such as The Ultimate Wave Tahiti, step inside a submersible to learn the secrets of the deep, and climb aboard the Battleship Wisconsin for above and below deck exploration. Here to tell us about Nauticus is Marketing Director Sheila Harrison. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. So Sheila, how would you describe Nauticus? Well, first thing I'd like to say is that this year Nauticus will turn 21, so we actually will be legal. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And Nauticus, as you mentioned earlier, Nauticus is a maritime science center on the downtown Norfolk waterfront, and we do explore the nautical, natural, and naval power of the sea. So everything there appeals to people uh, of all ages, uh, and once you come inside, you'll see that there are hands-on act, uh, activities, there are hands-on stations, we have movies, we have science on a sphere, we have all sorts of activities that will engage you and tell you about the power of the sea. Um, and I understand that there also is a sailing center, Sail Nauticus. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, our Sail Nauticus Sailing Center opened in 2013, and the primary function is a nonprofit profit organization and the goal is to teach young people how to sail and it also helps to develop their academic skills and their leadership skills. So some of the things that come out of our Sail Nautica Sailing Center is a summer camp and we do have a camp we have either for beginners or for advanced and they range in age from age 8 to age 15. We also have a Sail Nauticus Academy, and we work with the City of Norfolk Public Schools, and we started about three years ago, so we had six graders that came into the program. Eighty-six graders come in every day of the week, or Monday through Friday, and they learn about sailing, and so from there, we've moved along to where we have the sixth graders, the seventh graders, and next year, we'll have eighth graders, because from those three years, they moved along in the program. That's fantastic. So. Sailors in the making. Sailors in the making, and it's really wonderful to see these young people learn how to sail, and a lot of them have never even been on a sailboat, let alone sailing. So what they also learn to do is swim, so that's the first thing, because they need to know how to swim in order to sail, so it's just such a rewarding experience to see them come out and grow. And what are some of the things that visitors can do at Nauticus? When you come into Nauticus, we, it's something that we have is called our people mover. It kind of takes you right to the third floor. Everybody's like, what is it? It's almost like a moving escalator. And inside Nauticus, once you get to the third floor, this is where all the activities are. So between the exhibits that we have, we have a shark experience where you actually can touch a shark. We have uh, our science on a sphere where you actually can see the earth from like 22,000 feet above. You can see what's going on um, on the earth. We have our 3D movies. This year we do have two new 3D the movies that will be starting uh, very shortly, one entitled Rescue and one entitled Great White Shark. And of course, the biggest asset that we have at Nauticus is the Battleship the Wisconsin. Battleship. Can't and not talk about the Battleship Wisconsin. Absolutely. The Battleship has been at Nauticus since 2001, and it's actually been a part of the Nauticus admission uh, since 2010, when it was actually uh, transferred over to the city of Norfolk. People come, we have young, old, everybody loves the Battleship Wisconsin. And essentially, when you go into the Battleship, you get to do a, a guided, uh, you get to do a basic tour, self-guided tour, where you can walk around the ship and we are opening different parts of the ship as part of a strategic plan to sort of expose people to the ship and to what life was like on the ship. So this summer, what we're doing, we're actually opening up an area called, uh, it's almost like the Main Street. It tells you, you will get to see how the sailors aboard the ship actually lived. So you get to see the mess hall. You get to see the machine shop. You get to see the dispersing room. I mean, you even can see the incinerator if you want. You can see what happened with the trash. So it's just an interesting uh, element now to add to the existing areas that are already open. And the plan is to open up different areas of the ship over the next few years. So how much of the ship really can people see and experience? Oh, right now, it's just a small, small portion. I mean, this ship is huge. But at least when you come in, the, the areas that you can see, We've added, with this latest uh, area that we've added, we know we've added about 30,000 more square feet of viewing space that you can see. Prior to that, we probably had at least 70,000 square feet that is open for people to see. 
Wow, so you can see things like the captain's cabin, um, in addition to areas where the sailors live. Absolutely, you can see the dentist, uh, the dentist office, the post office, you can see the chapel, you can see the ward room. So there are interesting parts of that ship that you can see, and it is included in admission. Now, if you're interested in uh, more in-depth, there will be other areas of the ship. We do have guided tours that you have to pay for, but you can see other areas of the ship. How long does the self guided tour last or how long can it take? As long as you want it. We're open, Nauticus is open from 10 to 5. If you want to spend all day on that ship, you can spend all day on the ship. Self-guided, move at your own pace. We do have knowledgeable docents on board ship who can tell you all sorts of things about that ship that you never would have even thought of. But we do have people there to um, guide you and ask question, answer questions for you. That's wonderful. Tell us a little bit about what's new this summer. So new this summer, uh, as, little bit, as I previously mentioned, we will open more areas of the ship that you'll be able to go on as uh, self-guided on your own. You'll be able to see those different areas along the, uh, the mess hall and the galley and those areas. In addition, we will, we will be bringing back Spy Ship. So Spy Ship has been around for three years, and it's sort of an undercover espionage game on board the battleship. So you can't tell so, me how it ends. Can't tell you how it ends. Just know it's a fun experience. We gear it toward families. It's an experience that you can take and just have a really great time. In addition to that, we will have some new movies. Um, so two new 3D movies will be there as well. So we are moving forward uh, with trying to offer different opportunities for visitors to come back. And I understand you're doing a Fantail Film Fest this yes. summer? Yes, yes. Now we did our, uh, our first Fantail Film Festival probably about five years ago, and then we had such great response. And even though we didn't do it every year after that, we are bringing it back. We will be showing movies on the Fantail of the Battleship Wisconsin. We start in June, and over the course of June, July, and August, we'll show four different films, uh, including Pirates of the Caribbean. We're going to show Top Gun, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, and Frozen. Sounds wonderful. If people want to learn more, is there some place that they can go to get additional information? For additional information, they definitely can visit our website, www.nauticus.org, or they can visit our Facebook page, or they can call us at 757-664-1000. All right. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Sheila. Thank you. Thank you for having me. When we return, connecting youth to technology is a core value of Cox Communications. Find out how the Connect to Compete program is helping low-income families with internet access today. When we come back with more Cox Connections. 